Good morning, good afternoon, good evening everyone. Today I'm going to be showing you some of the features of the free PSX boot uh, memory card. So yeah, let's get right into it. So I'm gonna just turn it on to begin with. Well, it seems to be a little, a little bit too quiet this time actually. Okay, so uh, then we're gonna go on to the memory card and I better get my chair once again as always <laughs> okay I'm back so now it's loading uh, how we've done this well we went into the memory card and as you can see it's just using the memory card there's no soldering or anything you, you already have the hardware and you just put the software on it that's all so this is a uh, free PSX boot this is uh, Unirom as well and we could or I'll show you the boot, boot CD as well so that you know how it works so uh, you go on boot CD you close the lid wait for the sound and then do play and it's going to unlock and everything and then get you in the game itself which you're going to see in a couple of seconds All right, now that I have shut down the uh, PS1, I'm gonna turn it on again. And you always have to open the lid so it doesn't automatically give you the uh, wrong CD uh, error. So only close it once you're in the free DVD boot. Okay, now if we go onto the memory card once again. So we have, let's see. Insert your Unirom CD. Unirom can be fly directly to a cheat card, explore action replay, etc. Or you can install the mem card via uh, free PSX boot. Yeah, this is what I meant. Through the serial port, you can put one of the uh, cartridges. So I'm not really sure how to go back. I think I'll do uh, triangle. I can't. I don't even know how to go back. I'll be right back though. With the file browser, this is what you see. And play, press play on tape, waiting for CD to become ready and unlocked. Not a valid CD or the drive is locked. Press X to exit. I think this might be for uh, the contents of the CD. So, what I'm gonna do is uh, close the lid and then and then see what's inside the CD with the file structures and everything. So, file browser. I completely for forgot about this feature. And as you can see, it actually does tell you the... This is amazing, by the way. <laughs> uh, go back though, is that with the... Yeah, with the circle. Memory cards. I do have two of them there. So, yeah. Still in beta, back up your saves. So this is a, pl a replacement for the default uh, memory card browser although this looks more like the American one than the European one sadly and or unfortunately next up there's hex editor and yeah I absolutely love this stuff this can be used for uh, reverse engineering or if you're familiar with cheat engine or HXD workshop or uh, any of these then you'll be familiar with these I'm not really too much yet but uh, I'm slowly getting into it and it's quite fun so yeah um, this is that and what's next well status I'm not really sure how on oh yeah there's BIOS right there system ROM version yeah this is all interesting I love seeing this debug debug, <coughs> debug stuff <laughs> and there's floppy credits oh, to be honest this is very try sure it just gives you the credits I think I've already passed this once and it just keeps looping forever, I think, eventually. But yeah, this this was everything. Reboot is something I've never actually tried yet. So let's actually see what this does. Because I've never used it yet. Interesting. Yeah, this is just a restart. That's all. Kind of like it, actually. Uh, yeah, I get what the feature is for now. 
basically if you're in free PSX boost and you want to just get into the uh, menu then you don't really have to uh, do it a harder way you can just do it like that so that was everything thank you very much for watching see you later take care and bye that's all